For those of you construction companies out there who have project managers and soups who face interviews, you know they're not famous for interviewing super well. They're not comfortable in that environment. And I want to talk to you about how I work with soups and project managers, how Sage Presence brings training that actually helps them. We've got a philosophy for that wonderful group of people who I affectionately call soups and nuts, you know, because the soups are superintendents on a construction project and project managers work the nuts and bolts of the job. And this takes them out of their comfort zone. So part of the philosophy of success here is you don't try to turn them into something they're not. You actually try to keep them what they are. They need to look the part. They need to be who they are. And they're under the impression that they have to be something that they're not. And so you want to dispel any notion that they're not getting to be themselves. It's just that they have to be themselves with a little bit more finesse and control. Now, the second thing that we do is we really work with a, a very simple story structure model that helps them see that with just a little augmentation, they know what they're talking about, and you can ramble into a format. They don't really want to memorize a script, and they shouldn't. It probably isn't going to look so good if they do. They should talk like them. So what we teach them to do is talk in a little system that lets them use their own words, that speaks to who we're trying to help and what problems and challenges they're facing related to whatever the topic is. Then talking the turkey of what needs to happen to get them to what better place. So a project manager will uh, talk about a schedule. A soup is gonna talk about a site logistics plan or, or look at the site. They know how to talk about that. But if we can just help them see who's affected and bring the why into the equation, they're going to see that these people are affected by these challenges that the site is going to introduce once we start working. Here's what we're going to do. This is how we're going to manage it. And at the end, those people will be in this better situation. We're trying to format a forward movement. So the information the soup has to talk about is going to guide them to a better place. Now, with that, we're an anti-script process. We are all about just using your plain old words, but letting the magic be in that sequence. The other thing soups and project managers often benefit from is a couple body language techniques that really, really show confidence and make connections with people. Those are two different things. I want to be confident, but I want to connect to you. I want to have warmth to my tone so that I'm a likable soup and I'm an approachable project manager. Project managers deal with facts that have to be a certain way. Soups are, you know, they can be a little gruff. They're, they're making things get done. And if, if we bring the confidence and balance it with the warmth, here's what we've got. We've got soups and project managers who are really warm, approachable people that are leaderly confident and talk about getting people to better places. Now, all of this has to be able to work in a number of platforms because we are in 2024. And what that means is we need to be able to do this live, which is mostly the case. We're in person with our prospects. They're all right here. But we also have to be able to do this virtually because a lot of the times, like this very moment, I'm looking into a camera. I'm not seeing you. Or if I am, it's a little window on a screen. How do you deal with a two-dimensional world? Now, maybe even more important than that, and a little bit more common, is we've got some of our people here in the room, and we've got some of our people virtually. How do we address people in the room and virtual people so that one team experience, one interview occurs when some of your selection committee members are virtual and some of our team members are you know, branch offices in other states? If we can relate those skill sets to in-person, virtual, and hybrid. Now your project managers and soups are ready for anything. Those are the basics. And there's a number of techniques to do that. And there's some advanced ways to adapt to different personality types. And we can go farther or less far, but those are the rudimentary skills that allow a project manager or a soup who loves construction and may not love presenting to step into that interview circumstance and hit it out of the park, make connections and be the people that your prospects most wanna work with.